Hello everyone. Now, at the moment, a lot of people that I know are unable to live their normal lives and to go out and explore the world, uh, including the world of science, uh, which is a real shame. So what I thought I'd do was record a few videos uh, showing a few experiments that you can do at home using things that you may have lying around the house uh, and then exploring some of the science behind those experiments afterwards. And hopefully that may inspire some people and entertain them during this difficult time. I hope you enjoy. Okay then folks, so for our first one, we are gonna make a tower of color uh, using some water, some sugar, and some food coloring. So what you need to get, you need to get three glasses uh, of warm water. Uh, and you can use whatever food colorings you like. I've gone for a, a pink, a yellow, and a green. I'm going for a, a sort of traffic light selection today, but whatever you have will work so long as they're different. Uh, and this is what you have to do here. You need to start adding sugar to these glasses. Now, for one of the glasses, leave it alone. Don't add any sugar to it at all. So for me, my pink one, I'm not gonna touch. Uh, but for the middle one, the second one, this yellow one I've got here, I'm gonna add one spoonful of sugar into that one. And then for your third glass, which in my case is the green one, I'm gonna add a little bit more. I'm gonna add two teaspoons of sugar into that one there. And once you do that, after you've added your sugar, grab another spoon and just give, give your glasses a really, really good stir. Make sure that sugar is really, really mixed in as well as you can. And there we go. Once I've done that for the green one, I'll do the same for the yellow. Not gonna touch the pink one. Remember, I haven't added any sugar into that one at all. So there's nothing to mix. There we go. So now we've mixed our solutions there, we're gonna start adding them together. Uh, now what I've grabbed from my uh, little chemistry set at home uh, is a small test tube uh, and a pipette. Now if you've got anything in your kitchen that looks uh, like this, please by all means use it. Uh, and if you haven't got a pipette, just do this next bit slowly and carefully. Because what we need to do next is we're gonna start adding these mixtures together in a very particular order and as slowly and as gently as we can. We're gonna start off with the glass that had the most sugar in it, which for this one, for mine, is gonna be the green. And we're just gonna get a little bit of that green. We're gonna add it into the bottom of our test tube there. Just a few drops to fill it up, about a third of the way up there, a third of the way, the bottom of that filled up with green. Now the next bit, we're gonna do the exact same thing, but using the yellow. And this is where we should see, start to see something quite interesting. Because as I add the yellow inside, drop by drop, very, very gently, you may be able to see the colors aren't really mixing. We should end up with the yellow sitting very neatly on top of the green. There we go. And if we do the same sort of thing for our pink, this is the one that had no sugar in it at all. And if we add a few drops of the pink, this is where we should really start to see something very pretty happening on the top there. This shouldn't mix in either. We should end up with another color sitting on the top. And we get a wonderful traffic light effect. Green on the bottom, yellow in the middle, and the pink sitting very nicely on the top. Now then, your experiment doesn't have to be exactly like mine. As I said, I use a test tube and a pipette, but if you don't have those at home, do not worry. If you've got a plastic bottle or an eyedropper or even a spoon and a steady hand, you'll be absolutely fine and you can give this one a go. Now, now we've actually had a look to see what happens in this experiment, let's take a look at why it happened. So what exactly was happening in our experiment? Well, it's all to do with density. Now density is the measurement of how much stuff is packed into a certain space. Nearly everything imaginable has a different density and that's exactly what we were doing to our sugar solutions in our experiment. Every one of them had a different density. Now the water in the glasses was made of molecules with tiny, tiny spaces in between each one. The sugar we were adding were filling 
those spaces and the more sugar we added, the more spaces were filled and the denser our solution became. So in our experiment, the green solution was the most dense and the pink solution was the least dense. And we proved in our experiment today that the most dense of our solutions were able to support the less dense solutions on top, keeping them separate and keeping them from mixing. Now, there are plenty of other examples of this density experiment in the world. For example, if you poured oil on top of water, the oil would be a lot less dense. It would separate out and you wouldn't get that mix. But even better, there's a place called the Dead Sea, which is home to a huge pool of incredibly, incredibly dense, salty water. And it's actually so dense, if you went swimming in the Dead Sea, it would actually support you and you would be the one floating on top. So hopefully you'll give that experiment a go, or at the very least, I do hope you've enjoyed watching me make a mess of my kitchen. Uh, I am gonna release more videos in the days to come with more experiments that you may be able to try at home as well. Uh, but in the meantime, if you've got any questions, anything that you'd like to know, please drop me a message, leave a comment, and I'll do my best to get back to you. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm gonna go clean up my kitchen, and I'll see you very soon.